Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I promised you guys in my January favorites that we'd be reviewing this product and here we are a few days later doing it. Today we are chatting about the Mary Kay CC Cream. This is their Complexion Corrector Cream Sunscreen SPF 15. Very excited. I chatted a little bit about it in my January favorites but today we're going to be doing a full review. Just to note, this is not a first impressions. I have been using this product for two months now. I'm honestly, I would say halfway through the bottle, which is very upsetting, but good. Um, I've really been enjoying it, so I just knew I had to review it over here and do a demo. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So if you wanna hear about it, then just keep on watching. All right, so jumping right in, I'm super excited. I mentioned this product in my recent January favorites, and honestly, I can't believe I haven't reviewed it. I did do a short, short review over on my Instagram on Instagram Reels, but I just, felt like because of how much I like this product and how frequent I use it, I just had to do a full review and demo. So here we are, that led us to today. And now that I'm back filming, it just felt right. It felt like the first review had to be this product because I've been so, so obsessed. All right, so let's just jump in. So it is a squeezy tube type of bottle, but it has a pump, which is really awesome. Um, usually if it is a squeezy tube, I'm okay without a pump, but it's nice that it has one. It just keeps it super clean. Sometimes with squeezy tubes, it can be hard to get like all the product out. So this is kind of nice to have the pump. I'm gonna be honest, depending on how my skin feels, I either apply with a brush. This one is from Mary Kay. It's their liquid foundation brush, which I really 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 like it's um has a little bit of an angle to it but it's super easy to use and blends really really nicely but i'll be honest like some days i just apply it with my fingers and i've had no issues doing that i mean it's one of the best ways to apply any type of foundation or cc bb cream so that's honestly most of the time that's what i do but today we're gonna apply it with the foundation brush just gonna clip my hair back and get into it. Usually what I will do is I'll pump two pumps. I need two just because it's not full coverage and right now I do have several kind of, not breakouts, they're not active, but they're clearing up. So I just wanna do one to two pumps and then I'll take it and start dotting it onto the skin. So I'm gonna do one side of my face first and then the other. This isn't a perfect color match, um, but I don't think any of the other ones would match because there's not too many to choose from. You can see it kind of is a, probably like one shade too dark. Um, blending it down my neck does help a lot and then once I have my concealer on it really does match pretty nicely, but just to note. So I've dotted it all over the face and I'm gonna take this liquid foundation brush and just kind of start pushing it into the skin and working my way up like you can kind of see it blends like a dream it's super easy by the way guys i'm using a brand new camera so um i'm really excited about it but if settings are off just bear with me because i'm kind of looking a bit washed out but i mean you can kind of i feel like you can see so you can see i'm not really swiping i'm really doing a lot of pushing and that's to just maximize the coverage that this product's gonna give us and then of course, just down the neck just a little bit. Okay, so I'm getting real close to the camera here because um, I really want you to be able to see the difference. So this side here has the CC cream applied and blended into the skin. I have a few scars here from breakouts that are still poking through just a little bit, but not much. I think you can see this one here. And then this side here has nothing. So you can still see, this is like, scarring redness freckles all that is really really nicely blended on the other side but still shows through your skin and that's something that i've always talked about here on my channel is that i love products that still show your skin i want coverage i want everything to look nice and even but i still want my beauty marks to show and my freckles a little bit i'll take whatever's on the back of my hand on my brush and then i'll just do the same exact thing and start pushing into the skin and working my way up. I do tend to go in circular motions when I'm going like down the neck, just because I'm not like as cautious. I'm not like, okay, it really needs to be covering things. It's more just kind of blending in the color. So everything matches pretty well, but I'm not noticing anything too different here. 
So just because it does give a really nice light coverage to the skin, I would say a light medium, um, I do like to go in with more of a heavy duty concealer. So I'm gonna jump off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, and then jump back on and talk a little bit more about the product, what I like about it, some of the great benefits that it has um, in the price and shade range. Hey guys, so the lighting might look a little bit different because the sun's going down and I just totally realized that I didn't have my ring light on, um, like any lighting on during the first few clips. So hopefully this looks okay. We'll see. So I finished up the rest of my makeup and I wanted to actually talk about two things that I did to complete the complexion. Um, so I did go in with a pretty heavy duty concealer. I've been absolutely loving the e.l.f. Cosmetics Hydrating Camo Concealer. It's pretty full coverage. So I went over the blemishes and then underneath the eyes and I really feel like that in combination with the CC cream or any heavy duty kind of like full coverage concealer looks so good with this CC cream. And then I also set my face just lightly with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. Any powder would work. I just like to set my whole face nowadays. I used to not and randomly one day I was like, I wanna set my whole face and I stuck with it. Um, I just really lightly dust it so it's not too much but I just find that the rest after that doesn't move around as much so your blush bronzer highlight i find lasts a lot longer when i set my face so anyways anyway i just really quickly wanted to mention that so you know all the products that were used to get this amount of coverage so it wasn't just the cc cream there were a few other products that went into play um but this is a typical everyday makeup for me i didn't go in with layers and layers it was one layer very quick and easy let's chat more about this guy so you already know this you already know I love it. So you guys know it's getting two thumbs up. So that's not a shocker for anyone, but I wanted to talk more about the product itself because there's a lot of great things about it. I'm actually gonna go on the Mary Kay website really quickly because they do list several benefits and I just don't have them memorized. So there are eight benefits and I'm gonna go through them and talk about them with you all. So the first one is that it protects and the reason why it protects is because there is SPF in this. There's SPF 15 that's not quite high enough in the summer months for my likings, but in combination with the sunscreen on your skin will work really, really nicely. It is nice to have a little bit of SPF on my face as well in the winter months because you guys know UV rays just don't vanish. They just don't get as strong in the winter, but they still can be out there even when it's cloudy. So for me, it's really important to have SPF something even in the winter months. Number two, it brightens. So instantly amplifies skin luminosity and brightens the complexion. I'm not going to do the whole paragraph. It's pretty long, but I totally agree. I find that this gives a really even complexion to your skin. It really evens out your skin tone, whether you have a little bit of redness, blemishes, anything like that. It brightens them up and kind of just creates a smooth canvas, which is super important in any kind of a base that you're applying to your face corrects with lightweight coverage. This is the same thing as before. So mineral-based pigments help correct the look of imperfections and improve your overall complexion with lightweight coverage. So I totally agree with this. It definitely doesn't look cakey. It's not too much. It's not heavy duty whatsoever. It gives a light to medium coverage on the skin. Again, with blemishes, I do need to go on top with concealer, but that is honestly like most foundations that I own, most BB CC creams that I own. So that to me is not anything irregular. I love the fact that when you apply it, you can still see your skin through it. And by that, I mean your beauty marks, some freckles. I like that. I like to see a little bit of my natural self come through when I'm just kind of trying to pull myself into my best self. I'm going to call it that. Um, so I really like it for that. It does minimize redness. It conceals. It hydrates. I totally agree with that. It says for 10 hours, it will hydrate your skin. I agree with this. In the winter months, I do tend to get a little bit more dry than usual. Just with the change of seasons, it's so cold out and it's dry in the air. Um, so my skin tends to get little dry patches and this definitely applies on them perfectly. So I'm not seeing any cakiness or roughness around those dry patches. It really just goes on smoothly and hydrates the skin, which is really, really lovely. It reduces visible signs of aging. So I'm very blessed. I don't really, I have some fine lines around my eyes, which I find are totally normal. So I'm not gonna really be able to give a good review on that part, but it does say fine lines appear less noticeable so skin looks younger. It also helps minimize the appearance of pores while visibly improving skin's texture. So I do agree with the texture part and the pores part. I do notice I don't even have to use a primer with this product because it does kind of smooth everything out and fill in my pores naturally, which is really great. So it kind of skips a step in the makeup process. 
but I can't really speak to the fine lines just because again I'm very blessed 27 and not too many fine lines yet thank you mom <laughs> so last but not least I'm having a hard time saying this one it does defend so it defends against environmental stressors so anyways those are the eight benefits that this product does give to your skin again most of them I can speak to except for that one about fine lines um I definitely think that this product does such a great job for every day I highly sorry my shirt is just oh. um I definitely recommend this product for every day if you're somebody who likes minimal to I would say like light to medium coverage you're gonna love this product if you like to apply something that's still very breathable hydrating but covers up any redness or maybe a few blemishes this is the product for you easy to apply very very quick but it does still last and that's important to me because you guys know I'm in the office for you know eight to nine hours I want my makeup to look good from start to finish there's often times where I don't really have that much time to go to the bathroom and touch up nor do I want to I want to trust that my makeup will last so this product really does do that so two other things I wanted to talk about quickly about the foundation is that it does go for $24.50 Canadian you can purchase it on Mary Kay's website and there is also five shades to choose from so one thing about CC creams is is they just never have that great of a shade selection. I just don't know. I've never seen a CC or BB cream that has more than probably, I would say like eight to 10 shades. This one has five. I'm the shade light medium. As you saw, it was a little dark. You can work it into the skin because it is lighter coverage. It's a little, you can get away a little bit more with not having a perfect match, if you know what I mean. Whereas a full coverage foundation, you really need to make sure it matches you. This one, you have a little bit of flexibility with that just because it is lightweight and very hydrating on the skin, so it's easy to blend. Anyways, guys, that is everything you need to know about this product. Truly, truly am adoring it. Um, like I said, this isn't a first impressions. This is definitely a full review. I've gotten to know this product very, very well over the past few months because it's really all that I've been using, to be honest. Um, just with working from home, there's no point in putting on foundation. I'm not going out, I'm not doing much. So when I'm on the Zoom calls and I wanna have um, kind of an even complexion or just look together, or I just simply wanna do my makeup, which most days that's just really comes down to the fact that I enjoy getting ready. So um, this has really been the product that I've been using for the past two months every single day. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap up this review. I am so happy to be back doing reviews. Ugh, it brings my heart so much joy. So I'm really happy to be filming and I got a new camera, I'm so excited. So lots of new content coming. <laughs> I just, so excited I can't even talk. Lots of new content coming your way. So leave me some comments down below on what you'd like to see, Mary Kay products or any drugstore products. You know drugstore is typically my favorite things to review. So let me know down below what you'd like to see and I look forward to filming it. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap this video up didn't know this product's getting two thumbs up so thank you guys be sure to subscribe and of course i will see you guys in my next video bye guys